What's up, guys? Football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel. Guys, if you're new to my channel, please start subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff, baby. It really helps me out. Helps my channel out, guys. Helps me to grow into the Boss Nation. Thank y'all so much, man. So much coming back, watching all my videos from the beginning to the end. I love you guys. I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby. Y'all I got. And our fam, welcome, baby. Welcome to today's game, man. Hogs versus Bulldogs, baby. In which, guys, you know, the Hogs, man, uh, they kind of having it rough lately and whatnot. You know, just beat up on, on Arkansas Pine Bluff and whatnot and had a week off. So, bro, I know they were arrested. And as far as Mississippi State goes, you know, they've been getting better and better. Just beat Kentucky. So, anyway, guys, before we get into all that, the nitty-gritty, bro, let's just go over these stats and whatnot, man. Wrote down some numbers, guys, comparing both teams. Then we're going to get to the nitty-gritty, man. So, all right. So, fam, look, the Hogs, man. Oh, yeah, my bad. My bad. Game is in Arkansas. The game is in Arkansas, 3 p.m. Game, channel, SEC Network. And, uh, fam, let's go, over this, let's go over some stats, man. Okay, so as far as the Hogs, man, they passing yards the game, 228, fam, 228 to uh, Mississippi State, 388.3. And they are fourth overall. So, guys, uh, those passing yards, man, Mississippi State got the Hogs, man. They got them pretty convincingly. Rushing yards, 249 a game, fourth overall. And rushing yards, Mississippi State, 54.4. It's 130th overall. So, man, the Hogs are just killing them in the rushing yards. So, okay, passing, rushing. All right, next on the list, bro, 16 sacks for Mississippi State. For the Hogs, they got 13 sacks and whatnot, and which is 102nd overall for the Hogs, and uh, 74 overall for Mississippi State. So, that's not that far, man. You know, three sacks. Um... The Hogs' third down percentage is 38.5, 79 overall. And for, Miss, and for Mississippi State, 48.2, third down percentage. And um, total yards per game for the Hogs, 465.3. For Mississippi State, 425.3, 425.3. My bad, fam. I'm getting these fours mixed up, man. So the Hogs lead there. And um, they both have one turbo, one turbo plus, um, plus slash minus ratio, 53rd overall. So, fam, you know. Kind of neck and neck. Hogs, they lead the um they lead the passing yards. No, no, Mississippi State lead the passing yards. Hogs lead the rushing yards. So guys, you know, kind of neck and neck and whatnot. And as far as individual stacks, KJ Jefferson, man, 1,657 passing yards to Will Rogers, 2,890. Ooh. So yeah, Will Rogers leading on that. Um, let's see. Hogs got 15 passing TDs. And um, Mississippi State got 19 pass CDs. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Uh, also, the Hawks got five rushing touchdowns and whatnot. Mississippi State got four rushing touchdowns. And fam, as far as Traylon Smith, he got 459 receiving yards. But Kai Poe has 603 receiving yards. So that's not that far off. And uh, Traylon Burks, my boy Traylon, man, 717 receiving yards, fam. And also, he has seven, seven uh, receiving touchdowns. And as far as um, Makai Polk, 603 receiving yards and six receiving touchdowns. So, fam, look, that's a little bit of the stats, man. A little bit of the stats and whatnot from Will and KJ and Traylon and whatnot. So, bro, let's get down to these freaking games. Fam, Arkansas, man, beat Rice 38-17 in which, bro, and a lot of folks were saying, man, that they won't, you know, really beat Rice, but they did. Beat them 38-17. In which Texas all actually um struggled with at the time. Then they came back around next game at home, beat the hell out of Texas, fam. 40 to 21. In which everybody was saying, okay, we got some here. We got some here. In which Texas did change quarterbacks um second half. They started to come back a little bit, but a lot of people say with well, Ben, that was just garbage time. You know, the Hall just let them come back. So but anyway, bro, y'all took care of Texas. You know, our big time game, big time victory. Then you beat Georgia Southern 45 to 10. Then you beat Texas A&M, bro. Another big time opponent, man. In which, bro, Texas A&M has, has has had y'all number in the past. Beat them twenty to ten. So, bro, Hogs, man, they starting off good. They on fire, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hogs doing their thing, man. They doing their thing, guys. Y'all can't touch the Hogs right now. Then, bro, Georgia came. Georgia came, man. And then they lost to Georgia thirty seven to nothing and whatnot. So, fam, everybody was like, well, you know, you know, Georgia, you know, it's Georgia. Then uh, Hawks played Ole Miss, and, bro, that was the most high-scoring game. Like, one of the most high-scoring games, man, I have seen, bro, in the SEC. Lost them by one point, but they y'all possibly could have won. Y'all possibly could have won. 
it made it sound Pippen, bro, and it just, you know, went for the field goal. But, man, he I guess he got tired of all that. He just went. He tried to go for the win. Didn't happen. So, you end up losing Ole Miss. Then, Auburn came to the house. It was, bro, Auburn, man. Yeah, they 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 got you, bro. They thoroughly beat the Hawks 38 to 23. Then, y'all played Arkansas Pine Bluff, in which y'all, you know, the peanut butter school, in which y'all just destroyed them 45 to 3. So, fam, you know, the Hawks, man, y'all started off good, bro. Started off um, on fire, man. Like, for real, the Hawks were ranked number eight in the nation. Man, I was getting the Hawks all kinds of praise. I was like, yes, yes. Now, my number two team doing their thing, baby. What y'all got to say now? You know, then kind of, you know, fell off a little bit towards the middle. But anyway, we're going to get that back. Mississippi State, on the other hand, bro, they beat Louisiana Tech 35 to 34 by one point. So, you know, it's one point. And then it's, it's the beginning of the season. So, okay, you try to find yourself. We're just going to give y'all a break. Then you beat North Carolina State. Okay, 24 to 10. You know, yes, no SEC opponents yet, but y'all still winning. So that's a good start. Then you lost to Memphis, bro. Out of conference, Memphis. 31 to 29. It was Memphis, bro. Not, I'm not going to lie. They are a pretty good. They are a pretty good team. Pretty good football team. They don't get old Miss hell in the past couple of years as well. But still, I think y'all should have got them, man. But anyway, y'all lost to Memphis. So it's all good. You lost to Memphis. Then you lost to LSU. 28 to 25. In which I guess LSU back then, you know, when the beginning of the season, they was a little bit better. But still, both these te- both these losses, man, are combined five points. So y'all are still in the game, bro. It's just y'all just come, you know, come up in crunch time. But Texas AM, Texas AM, bro, went to their house, beat them 26 to 22. In which fam, no, I don't think a lot of people seen that coming. I really don't. Then on um Yes, he lost to us 49 to 9. That's because we had just lost to Texas AM. So when whoever's on our schedule next gonna get it. So it's Mississippi State. So yeah, Mississippi State lost 49 to 9. But after that butt whooping, bro, y'all um see what is what is this? What is 49 9? 1 45 to 6. Oh my gosh, bro. I didn't even write who um who that team was. 45 to 6. Vanderbilt. I remember. That was Vanderbilt. Y'all destroyed them. Then what really got me thinking, bro, Mississippi State, guys, is a really good team. Now, because Kentucky, bro, is a good team as well, man. But y'all shut them down. They could not run. They could not throw. Beat them 31 to 17. Yes, y'all was at home, but I don't care, bro. A win's a win against a good quality team like Kentucky, man. So, fam, look, let's talk about this, baby, in the second part of the second half of the video. And this is nitty gritty, man. Guys, y'all all know how I feel about the Hawks, man. Y'all really do. I've been doing videos on the Hawks for a long time, bro. Y'all remind me of us so much. That's why the Hawks, man, my number two team. Bro, the Hawks, man, we started off good. We started off strong. We started off on five, baby. I'm talking about, man, we was going through people, man, left and right. Everybody's giving us praise. Number eight. Number eight rank, guys. Number eight rank, bro. Kind of got a little shaky, man, you know, with that Georgia loss, you know. Then we lost, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, huh. But anyway, fam. This game right here against Mississippi State, yes, man. Will Rogers, guys, he is doing it, man. That boy can throw. He can run. If you get that guy time in the pocket, fam, he's going to pick you off. But so is KJ, KJ Jefferson, man. If you get him time in the pocket, he's going to pick you off, too. Plus, he's a better runner. He's a better runner. But uh, also, fan of receivers, you know what I'm saying, compared to Mississippi State, guys, bro, that's all they do is throw the ball. Mississippi State, though, they did run the ball last week against Mississippi um against Kentucky. And they got success. They had success um, in running the ball. So, fam, I think Mississippi State, guys, is really trending forward right now. They are really getting better and better and better as the season goes on. As far as my hogs, man, yes, I know we just played Arkansas Pine Bluff. Then we had a week off. So, you know, Arkansas Pine Bluff, man, that's not a real test. That's not a real test. Mississippi State, on the other hand, is. Plus, y'all beat them last year, bro, in their house. 20, if I'm not mistaken, 21 to 14, if I'm not mistaken, fam. You know, if I, if I am, forgive me. But, man, nobody gave y'all a chance in that game. You know, and I was even a little shaking with that game. I was like, man, Mississippi State, they probably going to get us just because of that air raid attack they got. But, bro, y'all rushed three, dropped back eight. Y'all actually, you know, did y'all thing. Y'all actually, bro, set the sail and showed people how to beat Mississippi State last year because they couldn't, they could not defend it. Your, your, your three people, the three defense y'all rushing, bro. Y'all was getting plenty of pressure on the quarterback and whatnot. Y'all was just throwing people around. Y'all was more aggressive, more physical. And then you dropping back eight. So whoever they threw the ball, bro, whenever they threw it, there's going to be double coverage. You know, either that 
or bro, the ball's just gonna get knocked down or intercepted. Like that was a point blank period. So when you got a team doing that to you and you cannot stop the three defenders that they are rushing at you and you dropping back eight, you have no shot. I don't care who you are, you have no shot. So man, the Hogs, bro, y'all did y'all thing last year. So you already know, man. Mississippi State, man, they're gonna be coming into this game, guys. They're gonna be one war. They're gonna be one revenge, you know, and whatnot, fam. Plus, man, but but it's at the Hogs house. So it's at the Hogs house, man. So I'm glad y'all beat them last year at their house. Cause now you got them at y'all house, but y'all are extremely tough, baby. Extremely tough at the house, man. So this game, guys. This game could go either way. I think the Hawks are favored by five, if I'm not mistaken. So this game could go either way, fam. But, you know, if I, I know y'all want to see you know, who I'm going to pick and my score prediction, man. <sighs> fam, I'm hoping that the Hawks have found their mojo back because at the beginning of the season, bro, man, y'all probably could have beat just about anybody in the country, man. Maybe besides Georgia, maybe besides us. But nine times out of ten, bro, if y'all had to play, you know, uh, any other team, man, besides them, maybe besides Oregon, Ohio State, y'all probably would have beat them, man, during that time, man, y'all, especially when y'all beat uh, Texas and Texas a and bro, like, number eight right in the country, bro, that, that, that was no joke, it's just that freaking Georgia, but anyway, to this game right here, man, um, <sighs> this is gonna be hard, bro, this is gonna be hard, man, because Mississippi State, they playing now. They playing, bro. And then y'all, the Hawks didn't really have a good test of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Anybody could be Arkansas Pine Bluff. So, fam, but you're at home. You got Sam Pittman as your coach. Y'all gonna run through a wall for him. You know, I know y'all are, bro. Y'all do this every time. DFH, bro. DFH. And my new Hall fans, that stands for defense for hell. Bro, y'all gotta step up, man. Y'all gotta step it up in this game, man. Do not let them boys score a lot of points on y'all, bro. Keep it down, you know. Keep that pressure on the uh, on Will Rogers, man. And y'all will succeed. Y'all will win this game, man. But you got to do that. DFH got to step it up, bro. And as far as KJ Jeff and the offense, y'all just got to click and do y'all thing as usual. But y'all got to get it back. And I know y'all can get it back, man. So with this game right here, bro, man, I'm going with the Hawks, man. And not, not just because, you know, I like the Hawks, you know, a lot. But the Hawks are at home. They are at home. They are hard to beat at home and whatnot. And I think they get their mojo back starting this game right here because, you know, we all know what happened. You know, we all know what happened throughout the season, bro. So I think the Hawks want to get back on track. In order to get back on track, you got to take it out on Mississippi State. So all that, you know, that bitterness or that loss of defeat from Georgia, you know, and whatnot, bro. And just that, ugh, you know, frustration. Take it out on their ass. Take it out on Mississippi State. Let them know that, man, y'all are in our house, bro, and we finna just eat y'all alive. I'm talking about eat y'all up, man. Y'all got to You got to do that, bro, you know, and got to feel that way so y'all can get this victory, man, because Mississippi State, they all right, they not BSing around either, bro. They are coming to play. They want revenge. So, fam, this is going to be tough. I ain't going to lie. It's going to be tough now. It's going to be tough in the last year, man, because they already know what y'all going to do. Well, they, at least they think they already know y'all could change up some stuff, you know. But this is going to be a tough game. But in the end of the day, I got the Hawks beat Mississippi State. And I think the score probably would be, probably would be somewhere around, um, I don't know, man, maybe 45 to 41, something like that. Or it could be a little higher, man, maybe 52, 52 to um, 48. It's going to be some point score, I think, in this game. I think it's going to be some point score, bro. But I got the Hawks winning. I got the Hawks winning. But anyway, fam, look, guys. Y'all know who I do this for, man. I love y'all to death. Each and every one of y'all to watch my videos. And like I said, all of my videos. I love college football. You love college football. We love college football. With that being said, much love. Much love, fam. And stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you. I'll be back with more videos. All right. Peace.